M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just talking about SDR++ version 1.0.3. So the latest version here by Alexandra Ruma. So thank you very much. The plus version. And I've, I've been using a version on AirSpy as well, uh, which is also free. Similar to this, but this is the latest one that he's made. And I find it, uh, for me, it's just a bit simpler to use. Um, so yeah, it's the usual dongle that you would use. So get it from there's lots of videos there SDR dongle there is that kind of thing there that silver thing there I mean you can plug them into Raspberry Pis and things but I just got it plugged in into the laptop um, driver wise uh, the software normally allows you to it will give you the driver you might need to use Zadig to put the driver where you want it which is uh, so run that program if you need to there's several videos showing that um, and then buying the item well the original one looks like this. It says uh, rtlsdr.com. Um, they're about £40 on Amazon. It looks like that. That's the original sort of model. Look for the, R, the .com bit. That's the important bit. Um, ignore the price on here. There are budget ones for as little as £16. Um, they, ha they tend to have a square case. And they have four screws at the end. So that's the sort of clone type copy. Uh, but the original one is is like this, and it has a curved case, and it only has two screws, two screws that um, hold the sides on. So anyway, so once you um, get to this, just literally just go down and click. I'm on Windows, so I just clicked the Windows 64 one, which was here somewhere. Trying to find it now. Yeah, I'm a bit blind, and I? So it's here, look. Windows 64. So you run that. You get a zip like this at the bottom here. Extract it somewhere. And then you'll end up with these kind of files here. Now, and then once you've extracted it, you'll get a little square. Let's see this little blue square? Double-click the blue square, and you'll have the, this kind of image. Now, of course... Plug in your SDR device into the USB on your computer. I prefer to plug it into a stand, which has a USB connector. And then, yeah, connect an antenna to it. I've just got a rubber duck on for now. And so, you know, here's the image that you get. Now, there's things you can add to this, but the main thing is source, RTL. And if it doesn't find it straight away... Okay, so here we are. We'll just turn it up a bit so you can hear. I Got the dog barking, so we're going to have to end the video. This birthday coming up. Why am I renewing now, we're actually listening to two stations at the same time using why one dongle, and it's just the budget dongle as well. What he's doing you can see if you scroll work, down here, coming home, you can maybe add cooking, maybe doing this more. If he wants to. See it? And you can name and it. Everything else select the source and you can add VFOs here. And that takes so I look into more look comes, into that more in the future. Um, so I think that's maybe where go. the, the disparity so I'm, I'm, I, 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 this is the first time I've really used this. You've got NFM, AM, done. USB, Obviously, LSB. You do have to change the, you know, the home in which one of the settings and is in to um, use HF, but control, quote unquote, it's only a simple uh, change. You know, why would Pretty you worry sure. about that? And it's, and well, I won't look now. Your, your if you click here, look, you get a full screen set. like that. Um, and You've got a signal hard. meter here up so on the right. A, find the time, the energy, or the, the confidence, really, and to we can engage just in a go down here. Reform of your domestic Squelch setup. here. Because it involves your relationships. You can record. Well. You've got frequency manager. You can add things to bookmark. Saying, Oh God, I'm so doing this. Add to bookmark. I don't want to do that anymore. You should do 50% of the Call it. bathroom. Or I you think this is Radio 4. Let's go. It just, it doesn't work like that. Because radio 4, you're, you're, like you're so. And then just click apply. Um, and look, and it names it. And it keeps and the name there. The and then we could do your, this your one here. Liz consistently doesn't say so I don't we know what that is. But but we and again the following yeah. day let's add that shortly after I arrived my add that to bookmark as well in 1981, and and it says sounds like radio one but apply off my feet 
at the local ice so, skating rink. See that? It's working good. Now I'll just quickly check it on nice. um, a ham frequency just for the four, three, four. Uh, my is five fifty, I think, for my. And then we want narrow FM. It's there, but it's not great quality, and this is why I um, went for to go and buy the um, the better quality SDR because I think the cheap one it's not as good. I'm sorry about the barking, but hey, it is my diary, so we stop it a minute and let's just look here sources that's your db gain push play so i'll, I'll put the link in the description tell me what you think and i'm just playing here so this is sdr Turn it down. SDR plus plus. Check it out. It's free. You literally just run it. Connect your SDR. Push play up here. So you've got stop. And then select the, your what, whichever device you're using. Refresh to refind it. There's loads of settings here. Have a good look. And um, push play. And away you go. 7-3. Thanks for watching.